Hello everyone. Welcome to Amma Subtip webcast. In this video, I'll review Stellar Repair for Exchange software. You need this tool in database corruption situations. It is quite a powerful tool as it can save user from downtime even when ESC util command fails to get your exchange database back online. There are lots of softwares available in market, but I recommend this software to everyone stuck with critical exchange database corruption as it has given me 100% result you can download the software from their official website link to download the software is given in the description area let's open the website of the product this is the website from which you can download the software for that you need to click on for business and under email repair you need to click on exchange repair here we can see more information about the software named Exchange Recovery Software. Stellar Repair for Exchange recovers dismounted and offline Exchange EDB files. It is used to scan corrupt Exchange database files and recover all mailbox items including emails, attachments, contacts, calendars, notes, tasks and a public folders. The software works in various situations, for example, if your mailbox database is in a dirty shutdown state or if you are not able to mount your mailbox database. We can also use the software when your Exchange server is crashed. The best part is it supports parallel recovery of mailboxes and that we will see in the demo. Uh, you can also prioritize a mailbox recovery. Uh, according to your uh, need and those options uh, you can see here under key features you can see exchange database recovery parallel saving for multiple mailboxes you can also set up priority for mailbox recovery and as well as you can also go for selective mailbox recovery uh, first we will download and install the software on our exchange server and for that you simply need to click on this free download link to download the software. Now to see the demonstration, let's jump to our Action server. This is our Action server with the host name ex19-mbx01.mile.local. On the server, I have installed Action server 2019. Uh, before starting the repairing process, I want to show you the mailbox database status. And under databases, as you can see, I have created two mailbox databases on my Action server with the name db01 and the second one is default mailbox database which is created when we install exchange now as you can see the status of our mailbox database db01 is dismounted so let's try to manually mount this mailbox database so for that i'm going to select db01 uh, let's click on these three dots to open more menu and click on mount it is asking us for the confirmation are you sure you want to mount this mailbox database db01 yes we want click on yes As you can see, it is taking time and here we can see the error that at this moment, we are not able to mount the mailbox database. Uh, it is saying that failed to mount the mailbox database DB01 and this is the information about the error which we are currently getting. Now I'm going to click on OK. Let's install the software which uh, already I have downloaded to this uh, server. Now uh, let's open File Explorer. Uh, let's double click on downloads directory and this is a software stellar repair for exchange and which you can download by clicking on this uh, download link okay now i'm going to install the software on our exchange server and the installation is pretty straightforward you just need to double click on the software it will ask you to select the language uh, we are going with the english let's click on ok let's select the agreement and click on next next again Next again, uh, I want to create a shortcut on my desktop and that's why I'm going to select this. Uh, let's click next and click on install. I'm going to clear the checkbox as I don't want to launch a stellar repair for exchange right now. I'm going to click on finish. Perfect. So installation is completed. Now I'm going to close file explorer. And uh, let me minimize this uh, Exchange Admin Center as well. 
Now let's uh, open the software by double clicking on the shortcut which we have created on desktop during the installation. Let's double click on standard repair for exchange. First it is asking us to select the corrupt adb file for repairing. Uh, I'm going to close it. Uh, first of all let's open file explorer. Uh, let me show the location where I have stored the mailbox database. Under e drive we have a folder name db01 and this is the R adb file. Uh, first of all I'm going to copy it and uh, let's store here under this second folder. Here I'm giving name repair and under this I'm going to store mailbox database db01.adb. Fine. Let's go to the software screen. And now first we need to select the mailbox database which you want to repair. For that I'm going to click on select adb file. Click on browse to select the location. I'm going to click on this PC. On e drive. Under the folder repair and select the mailbox database db01.adb. Last click on open. Okay, this is the file path and this is the file size. Now I'm going to click on next. Now select this scan mode. I'm selecting quick scan for faster result. You will have one more option name extensive scan. It will extensively scans your corrupted adb file. It takes more time but gives a better result. But in this demo, I'll go with a quick scan. Under offline adb, now you can see the list of mailboxes which are stored in our db01.adb file. Uh, let me expand the mailbox of our user Bharat Sarma. And under the mailbox of our user Bharat Sarma, you can see all the folders. But we are more interested in inbox. We can see the preview of the mails which Bharat Sarma has received. For example, let me click on this mail and here we can see the content of that email which is received by Bharat Sarma. So basically you can see the preview of all the emails. Now let's see all a saving options. And for that, uh, first I'm going to clear this checkbox and we just want to save the mailbox of our user Bharat Sarma and a present mode. Let's select the mailbox of our user Bharat Sarma, right click on it and here we have an option to save the mailbox as a PST, as a MSG, as a EML, as a HTML, as a RTF and as a PDF format. If we want we can also export the mailbox to our live action server as well. We have option to export to Office 365 and we can also export the mailbox as a public folder. But in this demo, first I'll go with a PST. So let's select a save as a PST. Make sure you have installed MS Office on your computer to export this mailbox as a PST file. And if you haven't installed MS Office on your computer where you are using this software, then it will give you a one message that you need to install Outlook on your computer before you can use a save as a PST option. Fine. Now select the destination where you want to store this PST file. Uh, let's again go to the repair folder on e drive. Uh, here I'm going to create new folder with the PST name. Okay. So we want to store that PST file under this folder. Let's click on browse to select the location. We will store under PST folder. Okay. Let's click on OK. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to click on OK and uh, we can see the message that data saved successfully. Uh, let's click on open containing folder to open that folder. We can see the PST file of our user Bharat Sarma. Now you can simply import that PST file in your Outlook as well. Uh, let me close it and let's click on OK. And here we can see the message that click here to know about the steps to import PST in MS Outlook. Now I'm going to click on OK. So we have successfully exported the mailbox of our user Bharat Sarma to a PST file from corrupted mailbox database file db01.adb. It is truly spectacular and must have tool for quick and complete recovery of exchange database file. 
that's all for this video thank you all for watching this video have a nice day